Shalom, Kahaloya, Wahwa, La Yahawa, Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham, Raka Akwadas, double honors are definitely due unto the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, along with the elder bishops who rule and teach well through the scriptures, salutations, peace, and blessings to the Most High Powers elected by after we die the house of David. I'm Shamar Moth, back with another video, Prophecy. All right, quick article now. A lot of news, you know, <laughs> there's a lot going on. Now, there's been a lot going on. All right. Now, we're in the time of the vision speaking, you know, uh, uh, the Most High, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, through his prophet Habakkuk. All right. What did he say in Habakkuk, the second chapter? He said uh, at the end, it would speak. All right. These 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 things would be speaking. All right. These visions would be speaking. All right, roughly paraphrasing. And that's the time we're in. But you had this major uh, hurricane. Now, we know Esau, okay, the so-called white man, beginning with his elites, okay, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, et cetera, the banking families. We know they have weather weaponry. We know about harp, okay. So this Hurricane Ian, so-called, which is – see, these devils have a lot of nerve naming these storms. Ultimately, this is a tempest, from Yahweh Bashem Shai, ever how you look at it, okay? Because he controls the left hand side as well. All right, so the spiritual demon Satan, all right, works for him on the left hand side, and the spiritual demon Satan has a physical counterpart in the earth, the devil, all right, Esau. Okay, so whether this is a harp generated storm or not. It, 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 it messed up you so-called Puerto Ricans who was the tribe of Ephraim, all right? You, it's, I'm an Ephraimite, okay? You you so-called Puerto Ricans, which Puerto Rican, Puerto Rico means rich port, okay? Port of riches. That's a proverb and a byword. Now, now, the scriptures talks about the curses in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. You ain't no Puerto Rican, man. You, 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 you fucking speaks down there in Puerto Rico better wake up, man. All right, because the Lord just sent a, a mighty tempest on y'all and messed a whole bunch of y'all up, man. And that's impacting this, the, the state of Florida at this, at this moment, all right? As of 9 o'clock p.m., okay, here in Babylon the Great, in FEMA region number four, South Carolina, to be specific, all right? So that's going on today. And then earlier today, you know, I mentioned in another video you know, this situation over in uh, uh, Russia with the Nord Stream pipelines, one and two, being compromised, being attacked. And we know who's behind. Esau's got his fingerprints all over that, man. All right. Now, at, at some point, OK, um, these EU powers, all right, specifically Germany right now, all right, they're going to turn on America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. Countries that were once confederate with America are going to turn on her, man. All right. So, you know, a lot's going on. I mean, we say this constantly. There's a lot going on in the earth today. All right. A lot of news. Again, Habakkuk, the second chapter. Division is yet for an appointed time, but in it shall speak and not lie. All right. So you got super storms. You have World War Three. Brewing up in the Valley of Yahweh Shapai and in, and in the so-called, uh, uh, you know, land of uh, 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 the so-called called Russians, you know, the Medes, Gog and Magog. And then you got this uh, this thing right here, which is what I wanted to touch on real quick off of newspunch.com. All right. Uh, New Zealand uh, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern demands a global censorship system to, quote, control, and quote, speech, okay? Now, look, what has to happen, all right, before the MOTB is uh, implemented on a global scale, before the nukes start flying, this ministry's got to be shut down, man. You know, and look, I used to talk about it, or we used to talk about it as a camp, you know, um, how that's going to be a bittersweet moment because, you know, brothers – we used to, when I was growing up, I used to wonder, oh, what is my purpose? You know, like, <laughs> like, you know, I'm sure a lot of you, Akim and, and some of you sisters that are listening and learn, I'm sure you used to ask yourself, like, what, why am I here? Like, 
is is all it is is growing up, going to school, getting a job, and then having a family, and then dying. Is that what else is there? I always wondered what my purpose was. Right now, I didn't find out until I was damn near forty. Uh, well, hell, I'll be fifty. Um, I didn't find out until I was, you know, what. Uh, I came in to the, to the knowledge in 2014. I started going on the highways in 2015. So, I mean, what would that make me? 14 plus 41, you know, well, why am I here, man? You know, well, we're here to, to, to prophesy, you know, we finally found our calling. We used to talk about that, you know, after camp, you know, uh, you know, and, and especially, you know, uh, of course with the brother you call, but the brother you you know, that was our calling, man. You know, we're here to prophesy. So in a way, it's going to be bittersweet when the ministry is shut down. But it has to be that way because that prophecy has to be fulfilled. And it's already now you think about this. We're calling Karagma the MOTB. So that's already a form of the famine of hearing the words. Because we can't even say it all the way out or else YouTube. Okay. The Amalekites, the Small Hats, the Zechariah 9 and Sixers, okay, the Bastards will take the video down and, and delete the channel. So we're already in a, in kind of a famine of hearing the words, how busting me outside. But again, check out the headline, New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern demands global censorship system to, quote, control, and quote, speech, all right? And what they want to censor is our speech, the words of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, has wrecked their whole kingdom. All right. We've torn their kingdom out of the frame, man. And they got to get the prophets off the street corners, off the highways and byways, off the highways and hedges throughout the four corners of the earth or else. Okay. Now, let me get the scripture. All right. Let's just get the scripture. Um, and it's like you forgive me, uh, Amos, real quick, real quick. All right, quick hitter. It has to come to pass, man. It's all part of Bible prophecy. All these prophecies, all right, will be fulfilled, man. All right, including this one, Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. And it reads, Behold, and we know them, but I'm going to read it for edification purposes. We're supposed to edify, man. We're supposed to build up you lambs, the, the believers in Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai. All right. It says, uh, Amos chapter 8 and verse 11, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Most high power, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, although that is coming too. And that's already here as well. Nor of thirst for water, but of what? Of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so the Lord is getting ready to dry this ministry up, and He's gonna. He, he, we ain't gonna be out here reproving you, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians much longer, man. All right, uh, 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 Ezekiel's the third chapter and the twenty-sixth verse, if I'm not mistaken. He's gonna stick our tongues to the roof of our mouths and make us dumb, man. We're not gonna be teaching anymore. In the very near future. That's why it's imperative if you're one of his children, okay, to, to repent, man. Hey, believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, repent and believe this gospel, man. All right, and they shall wander, verse 12, from sea to sea. And from the north, even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and shall not find it. So you'll have, you're going to have Jake bugging the fuck out. All right, looking for brothers posted up, all right? And then they're not going to be able to find it. So you're not going to be able to find the word of the Lord no more, all right? That's it, all right? It's been out long enough, man. I'm speaking as a man right now, and I'm a little testy because how much longer is the Lord going to fucking uh, uh, slack you? How much longer is the Lord going to be long? How much more long-suffering can he be? Now, we know he's long-suffering to us. We're talking about his people not willing that any should perish, but all come to repent in Second Peter, the third chapter. He's not going to uh, be long-suffering much longer. It's going to be a wrap soon. Verse 13, 
in that day. So the fair virgins and the young men faint for thirst. What you're going to be thirsting for is this word. You're not going to go know what the hell's going on. And if you're listening to these goons in the IUIC, in the House of Israel, uh, Wi-Fi, who are, who are not blowing a trumpet, they're dumb dogs, okay, who cannot bark. They're not warning their congregations. They're not warning you to, 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 to abstain and refuse the MOTB. You know what? I, I, you know, I'm going to end it there because if you don't get away from those guys, those so-called elders of these wayward camps, you're going to be destroyed, man. All right. They're not giving you the full counsel of Yahweh by Shemir Hashai. See, Paul said he preached the whole counsel of Yahweh by Shemir Hashai, and that's what we do. <coughs> Slack you. We teach the whole council of Yahweh Basim Yahweh. 